Okay, this is uh, this wants to be a little bit of a, of a summary of all the patches that I have uh, for free on my website for download for the Stomp Excel, you know, the Line 66 Helix Stomp Excel. Uh, and uh, I just want to just go through them. They're about 20, 21. And uh, thank you so much for all the, down, the downloaded and, and made a donation. I will show you at the end of the video how to get these for free or, you know, how to make a donation. Uh, because obviously that all supports the channel and, and gets me, you know, more uh, to, to make more of these, so to speak. Um, and um, um, we'll leave a link in the description and in uh, a pinned comment, of course, as always. So let's go through these. Um, most of these are pretty much like pedal boards. There are, there are, I don't use snapshots very often. Uh, I tend to dap a lot and do a lot of different gigs, so I want to, to have access to things quite quickly. With snapshots, I, think, I find that sometimes those work better if you do like shows, like a bunch of shows in a row. So I think I only have a couple of presets with snapshots. All of the other ones are mostly like pedal, pedal board style presets uh, with an amp at the end. So the first one was a, a like a wardship, like a, like a choir, and it has two, two reverbs. The first one is a short reverb. The second one is like a longer reverb. That's like the edge thing. I don't know, this is actually the cloud delay, which is a patch that I've made further on. It's more of a hold kind of effect. I think this one is the the kind of call play U2 kind of effect. This is just a, a, a tap tempo delay. And this is a chorus, which again works quite well with a longer delay. Excellent, so that's the one. Let's go the other way. So this is a more kind of noir type preset. There's a tremolo, which is a tap tempo. And a compressor also has a um, a uh, Leslie can tap tempo as well. It's a preamp. And a, and a tape delay. That's the vibe, so to speak. So the next one is Jazz Fusion. You can see it a mix of gigs that I do. This one as well as two reverbs. I tend to have like a short and a long reverb. Again, chorus, kind of 80s thing. I think this is the, the cross. Oh, the heliosphere. I quite love this one. I think it's basically like. Um, a delay after a reverb so that there's that kind of bloom effect. Uh, and then there's a, again the tap tempo quarter note. And always compressor. I feel that it really helps to, to even out the sound. And I think I put a bit like a Mike Stern style overdrive, which is the Timmy. Okay, that's the idea really. Next, oh, synths. This again was to do with like a jazzy kind of like a Palmathini style. And there's a delay there as well. This is without the amp. It's again an 80s. And this is more like a, like a clubby. I don't know if I used that one, that was just for fun, I think. But the first one, I def the first two I definitely used. So the next patch... Um, got that. Uh -uh. 
And this is again uh, more of a, a funk, because I remember this one as the uh, Ottawa. <laughs> Uh, it's quite fun, especially with some delay there. You get that kind of um, a Clapton slash John Mayer. It's always a chorus. And then it will have an overdrive. This might need a bit more reverb, this one. And again, a uh, Obviously, this is funk, so you want stuff to be quite sloppy, so to speak. So there's a slightly higher volume overdrive. But this was for a Bowie gig. So, uh, again, quite 70s. This has that uh, compressor. And then there is, there is that Let's Dance sound. Okay. Uh, I think in mono in this guy, in this, you know, the original is a stereo sound. This this one, I think I put it in mono because I only had one channel. Um, then there is a there's a chorus for uh, Modern Love, and then there was a phaser, Golden Ears, again. Same. Oh, let's leave all the mistakes in. That's good fun. How to forget all the tunes? Uh, modern jazz. This is another one. More like a Rosenwinkel kind of. It's more of an ambient kind of delay. I have two reverbs as well. Same plate, I guess. This sounds like a plate, yeah. So there's a short, and there's one with a longer tail, uh, with uh, obviously a chorus. A slight chorus there, and this has that kind of uh, hold effect. It's compressor. It's a slightly more subtle hold, and then there's the usual quarter note. Yeah, so that's another another patch. Okay, this is more. This is the Frizzell shoegaze patch. With really big reverbs. With that wobbly effect. This reminds a bit of a band called uh, Man I Trust. As a uh, sounds like you know it's got that kind of vibrato effect. Okay, that's the one. This has the looper. So you can do crazy stuff. But Yeah, that's the idea there. Let's go back to the main page. Oh, there's a octave. Uh, there's a harmonizer. Sorry. Yeah. So that's the vibe. So very creative kind of patch. We're going now to more like an Eneas function corporate kind of idea. This one is the one with the snapshots. The first one is kind of a little bit clean, crunchy.
That one is more of a kind of uh, heavier drive, and this is a solo. <laughs> And as always, there's a chorus. So that kind of 80s stuff. And there's that, uh, you know, that uh, quarter note, uh, I think. Like 18, sorry, 18 dotted. If you want to do the, you know. That, that, those type of songs, really. That's more like that. Kind of mm. This is, these are some of the first one I made. Again, the logic is always roughly the same. I have, a comp I have an amp, a reverb, a compressor, a rhythm, this crunchy sound, and then uh, an overdriven solo sound. This is a phaser. And this is a chorus. And I think I have three similar patches where the only difference is the amp. So just to get a slightly different flavor. So again, I will have a quarter and a tap. This is a, like a slap back. So, and the amp here is the high watt, but the logic is the same of a compressor. And then a, a crunch. And then I have your solo can sound. Uh, then I have the next one as a uh, slightly heavier, but the logic is the same. Then I have the same thing, but with a Vibrolux. So again, I have like a woolier sound. So eight notes synced. Tremolos, these are a bit more like vintage. -y. And this is a chorus, obviously. And we'll have a compressor. So, you know, you have a mix of like basic in ears. So if you have a gig, you could just download this and you might, one of those might work with your guitar. Some like more Fender sounds, some like more like high watt, which is, a, you know, it's got its own thing, more of a kind of Gilmer kind of thing. I don't go for very super heavy stuff because as much as great to have you know like more like rectifier type sound i don't find that unless you're doing a particular show maybe like a more high energy pop stuff uh it doesn't really apply with the stuff that i do so this big so uh, again feel free to modify these uh this one is a um, if i remember well yeah these are the, the split uh system so you can have you can send the sound through the main uh, output to the front of house, and then you can get a send to uh, go to your amp, and that that send is before the the, the the you know the amp block, so to speak. So you have so these are all very similar. So you have a crunch sound, a solo sound. A tamp temp delay and obviously a chorus, you know, that's my thing. Um, and as I, as I said, there's a there's a send block, so you can have the main out going to uh, front of house and then the send going to your ramp without the simulation. Um, this is the one, same thing but without the drive. So if you wanted to use this with more delays. So this is that kind of crisscross delay, like the Tommy, uh, sorry, uh, Andy Simmons style. And again, this is more the D edge thing. And this is the tap tempo. And then some reason. There's that Ottawa there. I forgot all about this. Well, this is an acoustic, uh, uh, the one that I use with the acoustics, so to speak. Uh, this one has a, 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 an impulse response that I'm not sure is contained in the pack. 
or it's downloaded with uh, a, you know with with the pack in itself. So you might want to add an acoustic impulse response, or I might add it to the pack at some point, maybe with the next uh, iter iteration of the pack. But it's basically just an EQ. It's my you know my preset when I use with a Yamaha, uh, uh, and you can use this with any um, acoustic guitar that doesn't have the physical modeling or so basically if you have a acoustic guitar that only has a piezo and you want to get more of that uh, um, uh, that microphone sound you can achieve it by adding an impulse response to the speak and here i have a comp uh, compressor uh, here i have an eq a reverb uh, which is a plate and then i have a looper like a simple looper uh, so again this is that kind of acoustic thing where you can just go turn up. Remember the, I think the looper is not actually that long. When I do gigs, you know, I only use the looper into acoustic. I have a separate looper that has much, much more than just one minute of looping, so to speak. So this is the cloud delay. Uh, now this has a delay. This is that kind of hold delay, so to speak. This is typical of like the, the old Roland space delay, so the space, space echo when you, you know, crank up the feedback, so to speak. Um, this is my cloned pedal board where I need to switch on the amp, which is a high watt. And this is basically something that I did as an experiment in one of the videos where I tried to clone my analog pedal board, the one that I have with just the individual pedals. Just to have these, again, I have a couple of delays and then I have a Timmy, a couple of overdrives. So you can see that the logic is roughly the same, you know, in, in some of these, um, in some of these um, uh, presets. So this is the cramping. Cramping is a, is a band that does more like uh, atmospheric, funky stuff. So obviously two reverbs. Uh, hold, hold delay. Quite obvious, this one. Then I have phaser. That's the phaser with a lot of reverb. And this is more of a, um, a delay, tap tempo again. Mm. A bit more obvious. Mm. This is a, a bit more kind of subdued, so to speak. Um, this, it's the walk of life. I did a tutorial on walk of life and from the isolated track. The isolated track had a lot of reverb, so I actually kept that. Um, this has, a, I think it has an EQ. Yeah, an EQ and a big reverb, and then the amp before that. And that's the sound that I try to mimic, because I think it's played with a Telecaster, so it's quite honky. So I try to mimic that uh, by copying uh, the original isolated track. And this is the last one, uh, it's called Delays, and it's basically uh, a collection of the delays that I usually use. You know that with these, um, uh, with these units you can copy paste, so I usually, you know, sometimes I have a patch with my, you, you know, you have your favorites as well, which you, you can use this way, but I will have a patch with stuff that I use all the time so I can go back to that patch and copy paste to what I need to do. So this will have... Uh, this is just a tap tempo, quarter note tap tempo, then I have uh, like a halo, 800, 900 milliseconds, then I have like a 
um, slap back. Which works really well for blues. And I have probably, yeah, the kind of the edge thing. The edge thing, and then I have the hold delay. So it's, it gives that kind of feedback style hold to the LA. And again, as I said, I, I tend to have sometimes a patch that has all these kind of favorites so that I can kind of copy and paste and it's a bit of a reference as to speak. So that's for you. I think I made a video about this. Um, so again, uh, 21 patches. Sorry if I went through quite quickly, but I didn't want to make an, a video that is infinite. And if you go to my website here, I will leave a link in the description and a pinned comment. Uh, this is the link to that page. You can read about it and you can make an extra donation if you feel inclined to do so. You don't have to, but it's obviously quite uh, appreciated. You can pay with PayPal and PayPal we, we take a, a card as well. So you can add to card and there's a quick checkout. I have other uh, things on my, uh, uh, on my shop page here. You can see on the top, you can go to the shop page and uh, there are, there's a bundle that you can again uh, buy for uh, uh, you know all my ebooks and back and tracks that are there. You can buy for a minimum of fifteen. You can add an extra donation there as well. I think if you put together all the ebooks and uh, various teaching things that I that I sell and back and tracks is about like one hundred and fifty dollars. So you can get them for quite a quite a fraction of that. This is all quite appreciated. Obviously, it's appreciated because it supports the you know me, uh, you know the channel and me adding more more stuff in the future. I've had, as I said, I've had this channel for quite a while, and I feel now that I've more space and uh, you know for, for myself to do these um, these videos. I'm, I'm I'm back enjoying making these videos, so to speak. So it's all appreciated if you keep things going. If you like, subscribe, share on, on social media, send to friends, check out all the other videos and, and my website as well. There's plenty of stuff there that is beyond just the videos that I do here on, on YouTube. So um, yeah, again, check the descriptions, uh, share it as I said, and, um, and enjoy these patches. I'm, I'm quite enjoying these, the stump itself for the, for the format. It's quite small. I have the, the, the HX effects as well. I feel that my I don't know. The, the st I start seeing the limitation now, considering that the last year and a half there there have been new things released by by other companies like you know Quad Cortex, and um, I've I've seen quite a few good videos about the Impera Two stage. Again, quite f for the price, you get a ton of stuff. I like I really like the the uh, touch screen on that, and I like the touch screen on the Quad Cortex with the with foot switches that that you can use. To as potentiometers as volume knobs, so to speak, and those are great for for the type of gigs that I do because, uh, as you can see, sometimes I just do uh, like one gig. I turn up, I make some sounds, and obviously you need to tweak them, on, you know, because the mind, the, the sounds that you make at home, as much as I I, t I tend to use things that are you know tested now at gigs, it, you always need a, a tiny bit of tweaking and you know going into uh, you know, uh, like doing, uh, going to menu dives and stuff like that is not great while you're playing, you want to play and, and have the same feel as the board that has pedals where volume is just the volume and it's a knob and when you turn it up, the volume goes up. So I, I really enjoy that. Uh, and the touch screen, I find that the touch screen, like the Fender and the Quad Cortex are the best ones, I think, so far for that immediate, uh, you know, feedback on I want that effect and I want to turn it up like an old school, in the old school way with a knob, so to speak. Uh, and I find that the second best of the Ampere obviously is a lot cheaper. And uh, the sounds were great, the, 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 the unit that I tried. And I have some of the whole tone uh, stuff. I have the wire, uh, I have a couple of wires and some of the volumes. They're really good quality. I might, I might get that as well. But I think after, after Easter break, I might, I might kind of get my, all my stuff out and see uh, how how I feel about what I have, but yeah. So you know, at the end of the day, you get the same sound. So it's about uh, you know the the ability to you know to connect things and you know all that stuff. Basically, excellent. I think we're done for for the video today. See you for more videos. Bye bye.